Welcome to our next tutorial where you will be learning how to place a photograph, to alter the content and to resize the photograph independently from the frame. Let's start by placing an image. You can either do this under Place Image, use the Place Image tool, choose the image and click Open. Click and drag, there is your image. Another way would be to go under File, Place. You select the image. In this case, it's an illustration from the illustrator Michael Allen Reed. He actually drew that a few years ago in Adobe Illustrator. You're allowed to use it for the tutorial. I click Open. With click and drag, here I have my illustration. Now resizing an illustration is simple. You simply select the corners without pressing any key or any button. You just click and drag. Down here the same. Just be careful with those middle sections. When you do that, then you alter the image, which I don't recommend. Command C to go back. Now what I would like to do is add on a frame with round the corners and also choose a different part of the image. I go in here and I could either choose the rectangle tool, ellipse tool, but now I go for the rounded rectangle tool, select it, click and drag, make my selection. Up here I can go into fill and make the fill transparent. Of course, you could also do this up here. Now I go over here to the Layers panel, select my image and I drag it over the rectangle. You can see it right away. It moved it below the rectangle. When you open it, you can see it, it's in a separate sublayer. Now if I choose my new image with the Move tool, move it around. I can resize that shape together with the image. All you have to do though is hold down the shift key. If you don't hold down the shift key, you move the image out of proportion. Now I like my image, but I would like to move the content over. But now I can't do it because it's combined in one shape. I can see that here. The best way now to separate the content from the frame will be up here. Go under Lock Children, click this box, the children are locked. Now we can go in here and move the frame around. Let's say I would like to make the frame a bit bigger and a little less tall. Now if I click the top right or the bottom, I can change the frame but not the content. If you'd like to change the frame and the content, you have to go back up here again and deselect Lock Children. And it's again one unit. In the next tutorial, which will be a workshop, we'll be creating a flyer for this casino with exactly this image and text provided. And we'll get to know something new, which is the Guides Manager.